Hey you guys, not a handyman here and I figured today I'd do a video on peak angles and how to properly measure and cut a peak angle. Now what is a peak angle you ask? So sure. as, you, as you can see the wall is straight until we get to this little angle right here. That little angle going down is a peak angle and today we're going to learn how to cut crown molding to fit on a peak angle using a Craig Crown Pro. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our angle finder here, which I already have it set because it's kind of hard to videotape and do this, but we're going to take our angle finder, we're going to put it right in the middle of that angle, and we want to make sure that we get the correct angle to cut our crown. Now that we've done that, we can see that our spring angle here is 30 degrees. So what we're going to want to do is cut 15 degrees on each side. Okay, so we know our miter has to be cut at 15 degrees. It's going to be an inside cut, but we're going to do something a little bit different with the crown at that point in time, and I'll show you. Now, we also need to make sure that we're measuring the angle of the top of the crown, and the reason why we want to measure the angle at the top of the crown is because we need to set our jig to that angle uh, because we're actually going to be cutting the crown upside down. So, as you can see, down here is the bottom of the crown. Up here is the top of the crown. And what we have to do is take our angle finder right here and measure the angle of the top of the crown. Because normally the crown would sit in the jig upside down. So you would put it in the jig like this. So the angle that you'd be cutting would be this angle up here. But in this instance, it needs to sit upside down in the jig so it needs to be at this angle so that way when we put it to the wall it's the correct angle okay so I'm at 50 degrees so what I'm going to do is on my jig which I've already done you can see here it's a little knob and on this side right over here it tells you what angle you're at as you can see I've already set my jig to 50 degrees because that's the angle of the top of the crown, the part that's going to touch the ceiling. Now I'm going to do an inside cut with the crown on this way, like it would normally go on the wall. Okay, so what I'm going to do, as you can see, I'm going to put this is my test slab here, put my test slab up, and then I'm going to cut it like I'm cutting an inside corner. Okay, so I'm going to do that with both, and then we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. So now that I have it cut, as you can see, that's what it's going to look like on the wall. Let's go put it up to the wall and make sure it fits. Alright guys, so here's our test pieces. Let's see, uh, see if this fits. There we go. It's a pretty good fit. So now we know what we have to do to cut it. Now we're just going to measure from there to the wall. So what you're looking at there guys is the final to the peak angle that I had to cut. As you can see, there was actually two that I had to do. I had to do one on that side as well. Right there. And then I had two 30 degree angles right there that I had to cut 30 degree insides. Maybe I'll do a video about those some other time. Now, thank you for watching, guys. If you uh, have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Like and subscribe. And if you'd like more videos like this, please let me know.